Semi trucks are everywhere, so it's hard to imagine a shortage of people to drive them. But that's the reality facing several companies, including Grand Traverse Trucking. We usually have at least one opening uh, currently at any given time. Uh, in our industry, it's sort of rare to have all, all our trucks filled. The pay isn't bad either. Truckers earn between forty and sixty thousand dollars a year. While the jobs are heavy in demand now by companies, it doesn't seem to be very high in demand for job seekers, even in the face of high unemployment. There are always jobs available. You may have to take something substandard what you're used to. You may have to take a job that puts you farther away from home for longer periods. But the industry is pretty consistent with job openings. Uh, there's about an 80% turnover typically. The shortage is due to a number of factors. Trucking is a relatively easy job to train for, but the training can cost up to $6,000 on average. And while companies do reimburse, it's a large upfront investment. As you have a driver that's going to have to be gone from home on extended periods, um, they have to qualify with the DOT regulations for the medical and uh, physical requirements, uh, and it's, it's a hard job. Drivers can be on the road for up to two weeks at a time, something that does not work for many families, even if they don't have a steady income. The applicants that come through have generally used up their unemployment benefits, and, and I, I think that as long as guys are, are being paid not to work, it's difficult for them to justify finding a job and, and going out and, and then leaving their family again for two weeks at a time.